It was all about the battle to be the best of the rest on Saturday in WRC 2. Latvia, round eight, looked like it had already been won with a day to go. Former champion Emil Lindholm didn't make it out of stage 14. A roll broke a wheel to end his day early. Josh McAleon coasted to the end of stage 14, looking after a quickly repaired turbo boost that had come off in the stage. He had stopped to fix it, lost almost five minutes, but coasted from there, protecting his car, one eye on his next event, Finland. Mauro Miele's day ended heavily with this role happening in stage 12. He's in the Masters event, both he and co-driver Luca Beltrame got out okay. In third, with a day to go, title contender Sami Piari. As they headed to Liepaja for the city stage, he had three fastest stage times in the bag, which kept him in the hunt for the runners-up spot. It was a finish thing, this dust-up over second place. Because ahead of Piari, we found Mikko Heikler. He refused to let Sami get a sniff of second place. He'd been pleased with his driving on Saturday, but he knows the determination of Sami and Toyota means the fight goes on tomorrow. So far there's been no sign of anyone catching Oliver Solberg, the class leader since Thursday night. He fired in a couple of stage wins, just to remind everyone that he still could. But he knew he had a nice lead, which had to be managed, and the Fabia kept out of any ditches. Behind the leading three, Roberto Dapra and William Crichton slugging it out over fifth place. In WRC3, an enjoyable day for class leader Josip Nogane. He's had a lot of fun trying to improve the car and build his speed. Victory here getting nearer and nearer for him. His only challenger, Kerem Kazaz, didn't like his car's performance on Saturday and is over 18 minutes back under restart. A lonely vigil for both sets of crews here, but a place on the podium and points guaranteed if they finish. 50, flat right block, 40, three left, three right very long, 40.